I'm so excited to finally be able to share with you my favorite part of my backyard makeover, the crazy paving floor. Okay. Any pictures? If you haven't seen part one, here's what you missed. My neighbors told me that terrific tiles give the broken tiles away. So, since I wanna do the crazy paving at home, I don't wanna pay for broken tiles. In here and I'm picking some broken tiles. Use a hammer to break the tiles. My advice is to sort them out before starting. You will need a good variety of shapes and sizes. Then lay them down to create the pattern you want. When everything fits well together, take a reference picture. Push the tiles aside to prepare for the next step. So I'm going to follow the puzzle and I hope it's going to go well, but I have faith in myself, so I think it's going to go well. Oh. The next step is to make some tile cement. Be aware that if you decide to do this task at home, you may find yourself mixing cement over and over again. No idea of what I'm doing, but I think it's not bad for a first time. Lay down the tile cement on the floor and replicate the layout by following the picture you took earlier. Tap each tile with a rubber hammer to make sure all the surfaces are touching the tile cement. The floor is really uneven, so I need to put more cement at some at some specific space because I can hear that it's empty under the, um, the tile and I know if we put some weight on it, it's going to crack and I don't want that, so it's a long process. You having fun? Yes. <laughs> We'll have more fun when it's going to be over, but yes. So I bought a trim here because I need to put it here. The other side, but... I need to put it here so the grout doesn't go in the crack because I need uh, the trap to be um, able to open back. So I'm going to put it here and also there so I need to measure um, the space here I have 21 I'm gonna cut it now so it fits perfectly um, what I want to do is 45 degrees like that, I want um, the trim on the inside and on the outside as well um, because I want to make sure the crack is not being filled by cement so the trap can be open because it's a really important trap and I have a second one here so I want to do the same thing there. All houses in Barbados have this type of trap for water waste. Mine is right in the middle of the space, and I was nervous it spoiled the look of my floor. Taking the extra step to cover it was the right decision, and I'm really happy with the result. It worked! <laughs> it was my first time doing tiling, and everything seems to be like solid. I'm not moving, so I'm really happy. And today I'm gonna do the grout. How confident are you? Uh, I'm really confident. I'm gonna 
cut the corner here and do like kind of a cake design. So I'm gonna try. This technique saved me a lot of time. But this bag was not thick enough and things got messy. So here's a tip. Get a thicker, more durable bag. Fill it with grout and cut one of the corner. You are now ready to fill the gaps. Once you're done, use a trowel to spread it evenly. It's not looking that good now because I need to clean the tile. That's what I'm planning to do just now. Like, yeah, I, I'm trying to wash all the uh, dried grout on the, um, the tile and it's gonna smooth the grout as well because of the texture of the sponge. Make sure to wash off the grout from the tiles before it dries completely. This is the most time-consuming task ever, but it's where everything starts to make sense. I just finished the um, grout and do you love the feeling? I'm so happy. It's not clean yet, but yeah, it's so hard to, to clean because of the dust, but you can see the sneak peek of what it's gonna look like. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> this is my reward for the good work I've done today today what I want to try is a new um, technique I'm gonna start by laying down all the tile on the floor and after that I'm gonna put the tile cement on the back of each tile and lay them down again. Yeah I'm gonna start with that and we'll see how it goes. Good morning. Okay, so I just went to the store to buy some tile cement. Um, and today my plan is to complete um, the floor. So let's start before it gets too hot. Let's go. I'm gonna start by measuring um, the space where I need to put the trim, uh, I need to do some like nice finish here and here. Okay, I'm gonna cut it. Okay, it's working. It's gonna look nice, I think. Oh no.
how do you like the project? <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next video, I'm going to share with you the whole process of my garden bed. I'm so excited. It's not finished yet, but it will be in the next video. So subscribe if you don't want to miss it. If you are a builder just like me, you can have a look on my website, Aquila Reynolds, and you'll find my Builders Club merch. See you in the next one. <laughs>